Yo guys, Punk out another video. So in retail, as you level up, trinkets are everywhere. From quests, dungeons, there's just tons of them being thrown at you from start to finish. In classic, however, low level trinkets are a very scarce commodity. It's not uncommon to see someone near max level with one or two empty trinket slots. This video is gonna show you all of the trinkets that are available in the earlier levels. I'm gonna make this a multiple part video series, and this part specifically will focus on the earlier level ones available from drops and quests. So I won't be including PvP trinkets, profession trinkets, so no engineering trinkets, or any trinkets that you get from drops in endgame dungeons. Or pre-raid trinkets like the Onyxia Attunement quest uh, trinket, Black Hand's Breath, Eye of the Beast, you name it. Or the class specific quest line trinkets that you get from Sunken Temple at around level 52. I won't be covering those in this one because I feel like those are going to need a video of their own. Without further ado, the best trinkets you can get during your leveling process. Let's get into it. First on the list, we've got Arena Master. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about the Guru Bashi Arena in Stranglethorn Vale. Every three hours, an event is triggered in the arena. A chest spawns in the center of the battle ring, and you need to be the last man standing after the battle is over and claim the chest. Then you get to loot the chest and pick up an Arena Master trinket, which is just a simple plus five stamina trinket. If you collect 12 of these Arena Master trinkets, you can then turn those 12 trinkets in for the Arena Grand Master trinket, which is really, really nice. It's an on you shield for 750 to 1250 damage, which is a whole lot of absorption on a level 60. Imagine having that on a level 19 twink. The next trinket we got is from Stranglethorn Vale. This is a rare drop off the Cold Eye Basilisks near the southern side of Stranglethorn Vale. It has a 3% chance to drop and it's BOE. So you can sell it in the auction house if you want. It has an on use ability that reduces the target's attack speed by 5% for 15 seconds. It's nothing crazy, but I mean, hey, it's still a level 35 trinket, right? This next one is super well known and you guys all know what it is. It's one of the best PVP trinkets in the game, not only for its level range, but at level 60 also. It's called Tidal Charm and it drops from Anaga. That's not a context, but... <laughs> can be found underwater off the south shore of Arathi Highlands. The mob it drops off of is a rare spawn that spawns every 30 hours or so. His name is Prince Nasjak and you can find him inside the shipwrecks underwater on the southern shore of Arathi Highlands. The trinket is an on use that stuns your target for 3 seconds. It has a 30 yard range from what I understand which is absolutely insane. Although the effect counts as a nature spell so it can be resisted. This stun does not have DRs with other stuns so you could stack it with your stun lock combo as a rogue or stun off an intercept as a warrior or rep paladin off your hodge it's super super good all right so the next one we got is thunderbrew's boot flask which is a really funky trinket that i like a lot it's available at level 40 from a quest chain in searing gorge called sweet amber the trinket is an on use effect that belches flame in a frontal cone ahead of you for five seconds it deals 50 fire damage every one second so about 250 fire damage over the duration to all targets in front of you it also gets you drunk which is pretty interesting I guess. I really like this item on a warrior tank for tanking dungeons at relatively low level. It helps with big AoE pulls a lot, but keep in mind that it has a 30 minute cooldown so you gotta use it at the right point in the dungeon when you really need it on a big pack. It's also pretty good for melee DPS for AoE packs, you know, comboing it with a grenade can be super satisfying. Next we've got Mark of the Chosen. This trinket is from a quest that you pick up in Desolus which requires level 39 to get. You need to get the Amulet of Spirits from the Nameless Prophet who's within the cave system right before entering Maradon. Then you hunt down all of the cons. Some cons are located in that same tunnel system outside of Maradon, and some of them are actually located inside the tunnels of the instance itself. So this trinket has a 2% chance when struck in combat to give you plus 25 to all stats for one entire minute. Really, really good for grinding mobs, you know, leveling in general, especially if you're melee. When it procs, you get 25 strength and 25 agility. So the 25 strength is a good amount of attack power, and 25 agility is more than 1% crit for most classes at that level range. Next up, and this is one of the most useful PvP trinkets all the way up till 60, you know, it's viable all the way up in BGs, World PvP, you name it. We've got Nifty Stopwatch. You get this from the quest, This Is Gonna Be Hard, in the Badlands, which is available at level 35. It's a relatively long quest chain to actually get to that quest. It starts off with uh, Coolant Heads Prevail, which is the quest that asks you to bring in Frost Oil in the Badlands. I'm sure a lot of you guys know it. The trinket has an on-use effect, which gives you a 40% movement speed sprint that lasts 10 seconds on a 30 minute cooldown. This trinket is very often used for flag carrying and BGs and in general is just very useful as a nice little PvP tool to have in PvP in general for all classes. This next one is also a little gizmo looking trinket in the same level range as Nifty Stopwatch. It's called Smot's Compass, which you attain from a quest chain in Booty Bay. It starts with the quest Monogrammed Sash, where you need to kill Mokrash. Mokrash is on the island just south of Booty Bay with the giant goblin statue. And then it leads to the Negalash questline, which eventually asks you to find a crashed boat 
leave some meat and wine by the boat to entice Negalash to come out. And once Negalash comes out, you kill him and you get the trinket, which gives you a static 1% chance to dodge. Really, really nice for tanks, especially for druid tanks as a starter trinket. So this next trinket, I'm gonna add it in right here because I feel like it goes really well with Smot's compass for druid tanks. So if you plan on running a bear tank in classic, you might wanna obtain these trinkets on your leveling process up to 60 just to get ready for that dungeon grind. We've got Guardian Talisman, which you get from the quest, the Temple of Atal Hakar. There's a small quest line that leads up to this quest, it's pretty simple, and at the end of it, you need to collect 20 fetish of Hakars. Then you get the trinket, it's pretty simple. The trinket itself has an equip proc that gives you a 2% chance when hit in combat to get 350 armor, or 350 armor increase for 15 seconds. As a druid tank, the most important stat for you is armor, because your bear form multiplies your armor values, and you're trying to hit that armor threshold, that total armor threshold while in bear form. The next best stat is dodge, because that's your only available mitigation. You can't block or parry like a warrior can. So this trinket combo has an armor trinket and a dodge trinket, which is pretty much exactly what you're looking for, and it's a really nice start for dungeons. Next on the list, we've got Carrot on a Stick. Everyone who's played vanilla TBC actively back in the day knows this trinket very well, I'm sure. So you get this quest from Tanaris, which asks you to go kill Gazrilla and Zulfarak. Super simple. The trinket is just a 3% mount movement speed increase. So you equip it and then you run faster on your mount by 3%. This one is also really well known just because of how much of a vanilla novelty it is similar to carrot on a stick. It's called Lufa. You get this in Searing Gorge from the quest Incendosaurs, whatever a source is more like it, which is just a simple kill quest available at level 45. You kill 20 Incendosaurs down in the cave and you get it. The Lufa has an on use effect, which will remove one bleed effect from the caster. So I guess if a rogue casts Garrote on you or Rupture on you, or if you're a rogue and you have a rend applied on you and you want to vanish, you could just pop it and then vanish. It can be useful, but it's nothing crazy. Okay, for this one, we've got Heart of Nixian, which you get off of Nixian who's a who's the water elemental boss or the poison elemental boss in Maradon. This trinket gives you 10 nature resist, flat, and the ability to remove one poison from yourself. Everyone will eventually need to farm this for their AQ40 nature resistance set, so might as well get it early if you can, you know, if it drops, need it. It could also maybe be useful in PvP against rogues or hunters if they put Viper Sting on you or anything, but meh. It's nature resistance gear that you want to put in your bank and save it for AQ40 progression. Alright, now this one is another novelty item. It's a BOE world drop that's just super fun in general. It's called the Six Demon Bag. It has an on use that says blast enemy in front of you with the power of wind, fire, and all that kind of thing on a 30 minute cooldown. So when you click it, it can do one of six abilities. A Frostbolt, a Fireball, a Chain Lightning, a Polymorph, a Whirlwind, or Summon a Little Fell Hunter. The Fireball is a Fireball, pretty self-explanatory. The Frostbolt is a Frostbolt, it just slows as you'd expect. Chain Lightning is just a Chain Lightning that hits three targets. Polymorph is again what you'd expect, you just Polymorph the target. The Whirlwind is actually really cool. It's a Cyclone, just like we see in the Burning Crusade. So you apply like a Cyclone on your enemy target, except it's a bit different from Cyclone because it's actually a stun. And the Fell Hunter is just similar to the Mechanical Yeti or a Mechanical Battle Chicken, you just summon a little fell hunter that strikes your enemy. Next up, we've got the Chained Essence of Aranicus, which you get from Sunken Temple at the last boss, the Shade of Aranicus. You get his essence and simply just hand it in at the brazier behind him. So it's a reward basically for finishing the dungeon itself. The item has an on use ability that creates a poison cloud around the caster, which ticks for 45 nature damage to all targets within that cloud every five seconds for 45 seconds. Similar to the fire belching trinket, the thunder bruise boot flask we mentioned earlier. This is really useful as a tank for AOE tanking big packs. It helps a lot on a warrior or a druid and also has a shorter cooldown, which is only 15 minutes. Okay, so these next two trinkets are both from Blasted Lands. The first one is called Shard of Afrasa, obtained from the quest Heroes of Old and Blasted Lands. You can pick this quest up at level 45, but I'm pretty sure it's a bit higher level. This has two flat equips on it, plus five mana per five seconds and plus five health per five seconds. Really decent as a starter trinket for healers. It's kind of like a welfare version of the mind tap talisman that you get from Dire Maul. It's only five MP5, which sure isn't the greatest, but hey, you don't necessarily have many options as a healer in the early, early days now, do you? It's pretty decent. Mana regen is mana regen. The second Blasted Lands trinket is called Demon's Blood, which you get from a really long quest chain that has some tough group elements to it. It's a trinket that gives you plus three defense, 10 shadow resistance, and some health regen. Defense is a high priority for a tank in the early days, no matter how little defense the item actually has. So this trinket is gonna be useful for tanks to get their defense cap for tanking raid bosses in the early days. It's similar to the armor patches that give you plus three defense. You know, every little bit of defense helps it all sort of accumulates. 
The quest line is also really awesome in general. It's a really long one, but you get a demon hide bag along the way, which is a 16 slot bag. I mean, the value of bag space in vanilla cannot be understated. So this trinket's available at level 47. We've got Lincoln's Boomerang, which is obtained from a secret quest that starts in the Ungoro Crater. This is a long, tedious quest, which takes you halfway across the world. It's a secret quest that isn't exactly obvious to find, but the reward is pretty sweet. So this item has an on-use ability that flings a magical boomerang towards your target, dealing damage and has a chance to either stun or disarm them. It's not a 100% chance to stun or disarm, it's just it might stun or disarm them. It's great for PvP, obviously, with that effect, but not quite as good and reliable as Tidal Charm, but still really good. Now this trinket is one of my favorites. We're getting pretty high up there in level, so these trinkets are more viable, I guess, from a rating perspective. But in terms of itemization, this trinket is so damn good. It even competes pretty well with some of the pre-raid BIS trinkets out there available. It's called Rune of the Guard Captain. You get this from the quest Job Opening, Guard Captain of Reventus Village in the Hinterlands, which is a call to arms group quest that you get from one of the wanted posters. It's available at level 46. This trinket gives a flat equip, 20 attack power, and 1% chance to hit. Do I really need to say anything else? I mean, it's like a welfare version of Drake Fang Talisman from Blackwing Lair. So if you're melee DPS, you definitely want to get this trinket, especially since you can get it at level 46 or near 50. You could replace it with Hodge and Black Hand's Breath, but I mean, that's going to be later on. But who knows? While you have really, really low hit rating and you're in really cruddy gear, it might even be better since hit rating is the number one priority until you hit your hit rating soft cap. All right, so here we got the last trinket, which you get from the Anderhall quest chain in Western Plague Lines. The final quest of this quest chain is called Alas, Anderhall, which can be obtained at level 50. And the trinket has an on-use effect, which can absorb 350 to 650 physical damage. So it doesn't work against spells at all. It's only for melee hits or obviously hunter shots. It lasts 10 seconds on a 30 minute cooldown. And the trinket also gives you a 1% chance to resist a stun or resist fear. Pretty decent for PvP, the shield can be useful as a Shadow Priest, let's say, when you're fighting against melee. I mean, it's alright, but not the greatest trinket ever. I know I said I wasn't going to add any late game trinkets to this video, but there's a couple that are kind of random green quest trinkets that you just get in the later game dungeons. So I'll just add them in really quick. So you got Ward of the Elements, which you get in Blackrock Depths for freeing Maxwell from prison. This is part of the Onyxia Attunement quest, and it's Alliance only. Holding onto this for resistance gear for Molten Core, AQ4, or even Saffron and Nax is a pretty decent idea. You got prison charm from lbrs similar function but kind of crappy i wouldn't even bother with this one and this is my favorite one it's called smoky's lighter you get this from the quest the great frass siabi in stratholm another decent aoe tanking trinket that just has a frontal fire cone ahead of you with a five minute cooldown though so it's much more versatile okay so that pretty much sums it up for this one boys hope this video gives you guys a better outlook on what trinkets you want to be gunning for during your leveling process to 60. i could have gone maybe a bit deeper into the actual quest chains for each item but i mean that would make this video like 30 minutes long and honestly you guys are big brained enough to fill in the blanks on classic wowhead there's some interesting ones on this list i know i'm going to be gunning for a bunch of them during classic and hopefully you guys saw some that you're interested in as well and you'll be gunning for those hopefully you guys enjoyed this one even though it was real brief make sure to leave a like comment subscribe of course you know the drill soldiers and with that have a good one i'm out peace